January 29th, 2024. I'm starting this week off over here at Corona Del Mar High School. Uh, first time this academic year, I'm doing science today. So great to be back in here again. I subbed in this building last February for science, and I'm going to be right next door. Okay, so today was very great. I really enjoyed being here today. Two of the classes were biology, which were composed mostly of freshmen, and three of them were AP environmental science, which were mostly juniors. At least one of the bio classes took my offer when I said I was willing to help them out because I have a degree in biochemistry, and so I was just helping a few with like the organelles of the cells and all that. They are basically working on a study guide for an upcoming exam. And then after lunch for sixth period, I actually subbed a chemistry class. And this was kind of planned, I didn't know about it till I got here, but it was a fun little lesson. I just had to be there while another person taught who wasn't like a credential teacher or a sub himself, so I had to be in the room. But it brought back a lot of memories from chemistry because I also have a degree in chemistry too. And the lesson was about moles, mole ratios, stoichiometry, and dimensional analysis. Unfortunately, I had to sit there and suffer because my mouth had to be kept closed the entire time, but I was willing to help answer, but anyway. But the students were really getting it. I mean, it was a very good uh, class of students. There were actually a couple of students today from Ensign who remembered me and they were saying hi. And there were quite a few students who were respectful and nice and saying thank you and have a nice day before they left. This is also the first time that I'm here since the publication of my second book here, Unstoppable, about uh, my journey through student teaching, my adventures in substitute teaching, in which I mention Corona Del Mar four times in here. Uh, once for Halo, uh, a couple times for an event that I almost participated in before COVID literally canceled it. And I also talk about the very first time that I ever subbed here, December 5th, 2022, and I talked uh, about a half a page about that day. In fact, here is where I talked about it, and that world history and geography teacher that I talked about in that paragraph, I actually ran into him today, and I showed him that part where I gave an anecdote to him. And I'm actually going to be here on Saturday for the 13th annual Halo Benefit, and it's the 13th year uh, that I am participating. So I was there since the beginning. They did four years here, like from 2016 to 2019, and then they went to Costa Mesa High School. One of them was virtual because of COVID, and now they're back here. So I look forward to that, and I plan to make a video about it. Well, again, I'm glad that I accepted this position today around like, what, four o'clock in the morning, and I can't wait till next time. It's January 30th, 2024. I'm back over here at California Elementary. First time this academic year. I'm subbing a sixth grade class today. So this day is going okay. Glad that I'm here. Um, it's a very uh, talkative bunch, but that's what the teacher warned me in the sub notes. But through it all, they're getting the work done. Earlier this morning, I kind of got a wake up call, um, as the expression goes, I guess. Uh, the door swings open and I see my former fifth grade teacher uh, just walk in with the principal. And so he's now high up there working for the district. And he said, hey, I heard that you've written another book. I said, yes, I did, and I showed him. Uh, speaking about the book, I mentioned California Elementary uh, a number of times, and I uh, showed him the part where I juggled here in June 2022, and uh, when I subbed here the very first time in December 2022. So again, this day is going okay. I, I believe the students are very great in heart. Um, it, during the math portion, a lot of them were asking me questions about how to divide decimal numbers, so that was fun. Speaking about the principal, I ran into him this morning, and including now at lunch, and um, him and I have been communicating about an assembly that I'm going to do for the 4th to 6th graders on February 27th, so I'm very excited about that. And all day today, including morning and lunch, students have been asking me wanting to see a card trick. It was almost like yesterday at CDM at lunchtime, there's a group of students, or groups of students who uh, wanted to see a card trick as I was walking from one part of campus to the next. And I just concluded with crosswalk duty, went uh, much better than last time because now I know what to do. And then I rushed back in here because I almost forgot this big red juggle bag here again. And so today went fairly good and I can't wait for next time. Well, it is the first day of February 2024 today and it's uh, pouring rain, but I'm over here at Kaiser Elementary and I'm doing elementary music once again. I just spoke uh, with the teacher, getting me all set up, um, letting me know everything about the slides and uh, what to do. I'm actually going to be here till like 4 p.m. because there's like an after school modern band uh, practice here that I will help out with. So it's going to be a melodious day as I uh, told her and I can't wait to see how it goes. So 
so far so good. We had a sixth grade class, then a fifth grade class, and then after lunch is a fifth grade class followed by a sixth grade class. And it was just melodious, it was wonderful. They were singing and playing the ukulele very, very great. One of the sixth graders said that this was the best music class that he had, and part of what he liked about it, because I asked him, was that I was playing a little bit of the piano uh, before everything started, and they were singing some of the patriotic songs that I was playing, as well as I Can't Resist the World's Smallest Violin. Speaking of which, the fifth graders really uh, got into that song too. And I'm like, it's probably going to be stuck in your head like it is in mine. So far, so good. And so the rest of the day went magnificently, melodiously, harmoniously. And for about an hour after school, it was just modern band, just a whole bunch of different instruments, keys, percussion, acoustic, um, and such. So it was just very melodious. Glad that I accepted this position today. Hope to uh, come back and sub here again for music. And so I know where I'm going to be tomorrow, and I can't wait for next time. Well, it's Groundhog Day, February 2nd, 2024, and I'm over here at Whittier again. I've been here like over half a dozen times the last academic year. This is the first time this academic year that I get to sub here again. I'm very excited, and it's fifth grade today. So good to be back inside a classroom at Whittier Elementary and I just ran into a teacher whom I subbed for last year and uh, the office staff uh, were happy to see me again. Uh, one actually was from Ray Elementary, now she works here and then the other one uh, remembered me from last year and she couldn't stop talking about how nice this class is, how um, this teacher has a very good class, so uh, very reassuring and once again glad to be back and we're going to be starting with Flag Deck here in a half hour. And most of the time I play music as students walk in the classroom. And so I'm starting this morning off with the song that got stuck in my head yesterday, one of many at Kaiser Elementary. This one is called Blame It on the Groundhog. I think I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Today is going good. This morning started out good. Uh, this afternoon was kind of a bit, bit uh, mumbly. A lot of students just like having conversations and such. And I'm just trying to get them to pay attention to the magazine article that they need to uh, read. And then we went to the library and now it's lunchtime. A lot of the students are remembering me from last year when I subbed for them, including students in this class. Um, at lunch today, there were a lot of students who remembered me from uh, last year. Now they're like in fourth grade. And they're asking me if they could see a card trick. And so I'm like, okay, so I showed them. and then and other people wanted to see and then other people wanted to see so I was making the rounds showing card tricks. As I was coming the other way around I heard one of the students uh, scream out, hey he's our substitute. And I got to meet the new principal during recess, so a very nice guy. And this is the first time I'm here at Whittier since the publication of my new book which mentions Whittier a couple of times and refers to the former uh, principal and assistant principal who now uh, principals over at uh, Harborview and College Park respectively. I was sharing that around including the librarian. Something I found interesting is that the library holds 4,000 books, she said. And earlier today I was also playing another song about February that was uh, played at Kaiser Elementary that got stuck in my head. So that's what happens. I hear uh, new songs and it's very catchy and I play it. So I'm sure that the rest of the day will go well. But to add real quick, after lunch we were walking back and uh, the fire alarm went off and we had to go down to the field for quite a while. Uh, apparently it was real and we saw a fire engine come with the slice on and everything, uh, followed by an all clear from the fire department. Later this afternoon, I have a tech rehearsal at Corona Del Mar High School because um, Halo is tomorrow and I'll be performing for the 13th year and it's the 13th annual. So I'm sure I'll make a YouTube video about that and, and my performance. I, I speak about autism and I'm juggling um, at the same time and I also play a little bit of piano. So I look forward to that. Uh, thank you for watching this video, following my journey. Uh, just remember, disability or not, anybody could do whatever they set their heart and mind to do. Again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.